Good evening. I'm Tina. Um, last video when I was trying to using page context, I had a problem. Uh, I was not um, take a you know I didn't check the full API of the page context and uh, was expecting that probably ID will uh, you know auto complete the methods so I can based on the methods I can find out the usage of page context okay but uh, the IntelliJ has some problem so after the video I actually uh, did some research about page context so this video is trying to correct or clarify uh, the page context can be used to set and retrieve attribute from uh, full scope and page request uh, session and application. And let's take a look at I made the slides for that. Okay, so page context is an impl uh, implicit object of type page context class. Okay, so Pay, uh, uh, implicit object suppose you didn't watch the previous video it means a predefined uh, variables and those variables are actually uh, um, predefined inside the underscore gsp service method which can be uh, which act like a local variable so you can directly use in the gsp pages okay and the page context object can be used to set get or remove attributes from one of the following scope like a page scope request scope yeah, where's my can I use my I cannot draw I'm not familiar with the you know I'm not familiar with the, the keynote but if it's a PowerPoint I know we can draw something okay anyway one of the following page scope request scope session scope and application scope and below I have example for you which you can in the scriptlet you can have a page dot set attribute uh, it accepts three uh, parameters the first one is a key the second one is a name the last one it's the scope you want okay you can choose a request session application and or page page scope is a default so if you don't write it's gonna be the page scope and when you retrieve using the get method it's really weird okay when you're trying to get the attribute by default it is still uh, retrieved from the what's thing Requ uh, page scope and if you want to retrieve from specific scope you have to also add it's a session scope or it's a uh, application scope okay and now I will show you a demo for that uh, so here uh, we are using a session to get right we can try to using page scope to actually retrieve uh, the request uh, and a session and application okay here i just using system out to save our time okay here page uh, context dot get attribute and the first one is the request scope And they, oh, sorry, here we we'll also add one because if we I do like this way, it's gonna get from the uh, which scope page scope. Okay, like this one. This one is get the page scope. Okay, let, let me put it here. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, and then if from uh, page context, okay, directly use dot um uh, uh request r e q u e s t request the scope okay and we will do others which is uh, okay this one is a favorite group and this one should be session scope okay and next one is app name and this one should be application scope application and uh, oh sorry 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 and yo oh, oh my god application okay 
and here I will add the system out to differentiate okay uh, page context demo start So we know they are printed one by one by by here, okay. And here we have an end. Okay, good. Now let's uh, deploy and see, okay. We deploy. And in order to access this page, we have to through this servlet, okay. product successfully so we open uh, here we have to get our uh, URL okay. this is a URL you can also remove the context here you can also remove the context okay and then go here and I will need to implicit implicit OBJ OBG okay J, J, okay. Now let's go to our uh, console to see, okay. Very, I think everything is correct, right? So whether this is a page scope, okay, whether the page scope is uh, ready, okay. And the second one, in the request, request scope, when we set here the request scope, request scope, whether it's cloudy. So now we can get the weather is cloudy, right? And now next time, ferret capable group. And uh, we have a uh, very couple uh, is uh, twice, right? That's mine. Okay, so here we get it from session scope, we get uh, twice. And uh, to application scope, app name is a GSP demo. This is what I set in this servlet. Here, app name is GSP demo. So everything is correct, right? And another one is you can also use in page scope to, uh, to set attribute. Okay. And uh, if you have a key value like this way, this is gonna be the page scope, default scope, right? And if you want to have a, a in other scope, I only show you one, okay? Like a Tina, okay? And I will, if you want to, I just show you one in the session, okay? Like this one, okay? Uh, oh, sorry. So now I set a scope, uh, I set a key value pair in the session scope. And we can do is we can retrieve from index, uh, index.gsp. What we can do here is we have uh, this one. You can directly use in session, and here we're using practice this one, which is the, this one page get attribute. Oh, sorry page get attribute and uh, here we have to using user right user and from session scope and also it's a string value the username is a t user user's value is tina right and it's a string value so you have also do the downcasting like the other request get attribute or session get attribute our dot print uh, name Okay, and now uh, we can uh, like uh, username. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, let, let's add another one. Username. Okay. A uh, name, name. A uh, user. User like this. Okay. So now let's redeploy. And if you want to see this uh, name, you have we have to access this uh, servlet first. You know, go here, go to implicit object GSP to set. Then we can get the values on the, of the user. Okay. So now let's go, and I will go to impl uh, Suppose if I directly go here, you will see here user is none because uh, we haven't set so we then we have to go to implicit object first okay after set we can go back to the index.gsp you will see this one is already being set to be tina okay so everything is success um 
that's the usage of the page context i hope after this video we are all clear about how to using page context to retrieve attributes or set attribute you can also remove attribute okay from page scope request scope session scope and application scope okay and uh, sorry about the mistake i made in previous video okay but uh, i i clarified in this video i think now it's good enough okay um that's it for this video and uh, i hope you guys enjoy the playlist uh, servlets and the gsp okay see you in next video bye bye